Yana, nice to meet you. Thank you for joining me today and congratulations. Perfect addiction. How are you feeling? Thank you so much. I'm feeling really, really good, really grateful, really excited. I feel like it came out in other parts of the world and now in a couple of days, it's going to be out in the US. So it's just like waves of excitement on this journey with Perfect Addiction, but I'm feeling really, really good. Like we were just saying, I think I'm biased because my favorite character in this is Sienna, given the <laughs> name too. But you know, this character also shows, I think, young women too, like it's so important not just to be physically strong, but mentally strong. And you really see that through Sienna. You know, she deals with a sister, family betraying her, you know, a big situation of an ex and training someone to beat her ex. So walk through this. How, how do you see Sienna in this relationship she's dealing with in all regards, multiple little strings pulling her different ways? My One of my favorite things about Sienna is that she really is human. Like as much as it's a movie, I feel like everyone can relate to her because so often in our life we are being pulled in different directions and we can love so hard and that can lead to getting our hearts broken and that's really what happens with her um and i love that we just see her full journey through like wearing her heart on her sleeve and putting herself out there to being completely crushed to feeling so angry about that and wanting revenge so deeply and then she has, goes on this whole journey of forgiveness only to come back to herself and then at, at the end of the day she wants to be fighting for herself so an hour and let's say an hour and a half movie we really get to see her whole journey and I think I was really grateful to like have that character arc and be able to step into that because it was very cathartic for me too I think um, especially like thinking about my younger self I definitely dealt with heartbreak and a lot of things that maybe I was holding on to so even getting to step into Sienna and forgiving her sister, which was like, arguably like one of the worst things that she could do um, and still wholeheartedly forgiving her it just felt very nice. Um, and I encourage everyone to go inward and, and, you know, investigate what they need to forgive in their lives. Wow, Caden and Jax. I mean, I wanna hate Jax for you and I <laughs> do, but so, I mean, it's horrible drama romance really captivates a viewer and i was definitely captivated in all regards but you know how would you explain both of these relationships talk to me about sienna and kaden talk to me about jackson sienna it was it was first of all a pleasure working with matthew um i think that as an actor he did a really great job of playing such an unlikable character and still we like him and still you know he had he he just has a lot of grace so um, Jax and Sienna, there's a lot of passion in that relationship for sure. And I think we can all relate to, to those kind of relationships where it's so much passion, it's so fiery, um, but toxic at the end of the day. And you know, in the film, he asks, Jax asks Sienna, like, is there, do you think there's a chance for me to be redeemed? And her answer is, I don't think anyone's beyond redemption. But then she says, I, but I wouldn't put my money on it. But I think that there's something to be said that even though he did a very um, heartbreaking thing to Sienna by cheating on her with her sister, she still forgives him. Um, so there is a lot of love there. And I think that's important for audiences to know, like as much as the relationship was toxic, there was a lot of love there. So that's an interesting journey for people to be on. Um, and I think Sienna and Caden, it's not, it's, it's a healthier relationship. And sometimes those healthier relationships are confusing to us. Like sometimes we, it feels like uncomfortable stepping into that because we're so used to the toxic relationship. I think that there's definitely like communication that can improve with Caden and Sienna. They both are coming into the relationship with a lot of baggage, which also is super relatable. But I think that both relationships have a lot of love in them and also have a lot of room for growth. Yeah. So I'd be interested to see and in like, and how and where those relationships can grow from. I think there's many women in this world that can relate to having a toxic ex or a toxic boyfriend in their life and then having another significant other in their life that feels like home and feels that comfort. and you know, that normalcy in a relationship. But, you know, 
if there's someone that's watching this interview, if there's someone that's watching Perfect Addiction and finds that connection with Sienna and these relationship with these two men, what's the biggest thing that you want to say to that person? As much as relationships can feel like your entire world, don't lose yourself in them. It's so important to know yourself know your worth and as much as you you want to love and be loved just make sure that you're putting that same energy to love yourself and get to know yourself because truly when you love yourself and you, and you make make that an intention you will step into the relationship that's right for you and you won't feel like you get lost in it and i think a lot of a lot of us can get lost in relationships so it's very important to at the end of the day just put yourself first Absolutely. So beautifully said. I am such a fan of you. I'm such a fan of this movie. I'm so excited for the world and the U.S. to see this movie. So major congratulations on Perfect Addiction. Thank you, Sienna. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too.